The Six Best Books I Read in 2022. 1. Sahara Unveiled, by William Langwish. This book, which was written in the 1990s by journalist William Langwish, is exquisitely detailed and masterfully written. The short, snappy prose had me from page 1. Before arriving in Dakar. 2. Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage, by Alfred Lansing. Ernest Shackleton's daring expedition to reach Antarctica in 1914 is chronicled in this classic book. He and his crew were attempting to reach the South Pole when their boat became caught in the ice, forcing them to leave ship and hike north in the hopes of being rescued by a passing whaling boat. 3. The Deepest South of All, True Stories from Natchez, Mississippi, by Richard Grant. Richard Grant, a British author who relocated to Mississippi, has been producing fantastic articles about the area for years, check out his last book, which is one of my all-time favorites. The lovely town of Natchez is the subject of this book, I visited it about six years ago and fell in love with it. In it, he discusses this strange, eccentric town and how it is coping with its past. 4. The Far Land, 200 Years of Murder, Mania, and Mutiny in the South Pacific, by Brandon Presser. The infamous mutiny on the bounty from the 1700s is reviewed in this book. The book details the mutiny by the members of the Royal Navy, which took place on the present-day island of Pitcairn. I didn't know a lot about this affair, so it was fascinating to learn what happened to the crew members who returned home and what transpired to those who. 5. 4,000 Weeks. Time Management for Mortals, by Oliver Berkman. The main message is that you shouldn't strive to do everything because there will never be enough time. Accept the truth that some tasks will never be completed and that sending a master email merely increases the number of emails on your list. It is a book that advocates against time management, and it has had a significant impact on how I currently view time and how I spend my time. I cannot stress this more. 6. Wanting, The Power of Mimetic Desire in Everyday Life, by Luke Burgess. This book explains how there isn't really such a thing as independent mind and how, whether we recognize it or not, we imitate every behavior we witness. We are all influenced by role models in our life, both consciously and unconsciously. For example, consider how you didn't feel like eating pizza until you watched someone else do it. It was an intriguing examination of how each of us forms opinions.